1931 Coventry Eagle. Um, this is a restoration job which we have just gone through in the workshop at the museum. Um, it's been a complete rebuild. Uh, <coughs> the model is a three speed wonder and um, it was produced 31 Coventry Eagle. Uh, that's Coventry, of course, and um, three speed gearbox, two stroke. Um, engine Villiers with uh, 198cc uh, Villiers carburetor, quite unique Villiers carburetor, way ahead of their time because you could adjust the mixture control with a little screw on the top of the needle so you'd lift and lower the needle literally as you rode along. Inverted levers, uh, they went out in the early 30s because the cables go down the inside of the handlebars, a nightmare to fit, nightmare if you to change, uh, so they call it inverted because the cable goes down the inside of the handlebar. Press steel frame, um, which was one of the marks of uh, Coventry Eagle bikes. Um, most people use tubular frames, but they used pressed frames, pressed forks, girder forks, but pressed. Um, these are the dampers on the side of the forks, which you can control. Uh, single exhaust port and um, <clears throat> runs through to silencer on the other side of the bike. This is your hand pump in case you needed to inflate the tyres. Um, nice little mites on the side of the frame for it. The rear brake in the 30s, some people, manufacturers, went for heel operated brake rather than toe, so you had your heel on the brake like that. You get more leverage but not so much feel. Um, direct lighting, Villiers again, lights switch, uh, so when the engine stops you have no lights, so um, you had to keep the engine running and you didn't, you were in the dark. Uh, nice little carrier on the rear, uh, two leather toolboxes which we have made, um, added to the drawings, um, sets it off nicely at the back. Uh, this is the um, Rear brake, which is six-inch rear brake, which is hand, which is quite adequate for the job. Smaller one on the front, five inch in the front, which um, again manufacturers got it the wrong way around. You should have a bigger brake on the front than the rear, but uh, that's the way it goes. Uh, on this side here, you've got the hand-operated gear change, um, three-speed, um, first, second, third and um, cover for your Villiers uh, ignition. You can actually move the ignition if you have a look here. Again, besides adjusting the carburetor, you can adjust the ignition. Even as you go along, you've got a lever on the back here. You can see how the flywheel's moving, advance and retard. So uh, another good, good idea so that if you were pulling hard, you could retard the ignition if you wanted flat, go quick, advance it up as you were on the bike. So um, you could really work your speed, control your speed. Um, front brake, cable operated again, inverted lever again, cable down the inside of the handlebars and uh, out to the front adjuster here. You notice that it's chrome plated um, in 1929, most of the manufacturers went to chrome. Pre-29 is nickel plated, post-29 is chrome finish. Uh, we've got the registration number handwritten the way they were in the old days, not stickers. Um, we have an artist or a painter who does those for us which gives it a nice bit of authenticity like the were done in the early days, painted on, not stickers. Uh, nice colour again, Coventry Eagle covers uh, orange, red on the front of the tank, gold lines and um, gloss back black on the uh, top panel. Rear stand operated again and um, footrest quite nice too, sturdy footrest. So it's all ready to go and um, I'm sure the customer will be very pleased with his restoration.
signed on this? Oh, <laughs> 